What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the best $100 yellow inventory you can build in CSGO. All these prices are accurate as of the 6th of May. And we're going to speed run this one I think because it's only 13 skins in it. We've discovered that the yellow inventory is kind of the same thing that pink does. But there's a bit of a premium on it unless you want to spend a crazy amount or you end up with some just like endless battle scarred skins. So for the 13 we have included here are great options. So make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button if you aren't here. And let's take a look at the first Gun, which is going to be a USP, it's going to be the Torque, it's going to be minimal wear. This is a door 32, essentially the only yellow USP that exists. So you're going to buy this, and you're going to rock with it for ages. And the M for A1S, you could go for a golden coil, but it's still just a little bit more expensive. So instead, you're going to go for a well worn Ashanti Ghost Fire. Obviously, this gun is a lot of red as well, but the yellow highlights really stand out on it, which is a big thing for me. And also, this is well worn and it still looks in incredible condition. So, big fan. And then like we always say, if you have an A1S, you need the A4 because you should be switching between the two at the minute. This is going to be a field test of Buzzkill for just under $10. We discussed last time around that the Buzzkill kind of falls into both the yellow and the orange inventories with how it looks in different wares. And then for the Glock, we're going to spend a little bit more than we did in the last video. And it's going to be a battle scarred Glock, but it's a bullet queen. And you can see that even with the wear, this still looks really good. Once again, one of the skins also falls into that sort of yellowy orange inventory just with how it looks. And then for the AK, we're going to run with a slate. And I... For the previous videos, we've tried to avoid this, but for the yellow one, we really have no other option than going with a slate. We're going to put some yellow stickers on it, and that's going to be the new Paris Major Navi Glitters. In total, for the gun and the stickers, this is just under $7. The stickers will continue to come down in price a little bit. And in general, if you want to see how all 100 Paris Major stickers look on different guns, I've created one video, which we linked down below in the description. And truth is every single one of the stickers in a craft over on the desert eagle side of things for the yellow inventory it's going to be a light rule again and this is sort of the continuing theme i'm having here that although we have some really nice super expensive yellow skins so if you're if you're loads of money you're fine for building the yellow inventory we kind of lack like for some of the main guns like a true yellow option like the ak's like the desert eagle and then also like the op we're going around with the football so minimal wear this is mostly like a normal sort of green op color then with the yellow accents. But it's really the only option within any form of cheap budget range you can get. So it'd be really nice to see in CS2, Counter-Strike 2, if we can get some more like yellow skins that aren't going to be crazy priced that sort of open up nice budget yellow inventories. Because you can get the likes of like, you can get cheap yellow gloves, you can get the yellow bandit uh, broken flying gloves are super cheap. You can get cheap-ish lower knives as well. So there's a nice yellow knife and glove combo but the, building the rest of the inventory out around that can be super expensive the 5.7 is a no-brainer for me it's going to continue to be the field tested monkey business this comes in just over three dollars an absolutely iconic skin for me one of my favorite five sevens in the game and then the famous we're going to spend big and we're going to pick up a commemoration which is just under 17 dollars so this is very expensive to pick up but it does look great. There's lots of detail in the skin. This is the best yellow farmers that exists. Yes, it, it, you can argue it's gold, gold and yellow in CSGO. We kind of have to combine them together with the limited options that exist. But you're not going to have to change your farmers as you build up the budget, which is really nice. Pretty easy pickup for the PG-50 is going to be a wing shot in minimal wear. This is currently about $2.30 it's sitting on the market. Obviously, you got those sort of blues and blacks with the yellow bit on, or with the white bit on top. And then a lot of yellow accents with the yellow feathers in it. So it does look kind of clean. The Gale we're going to spend basically almost $20 in this one. And it's going to be on a field test of Cerberus. And this is one of those skins that it falls in between this like yellowy green toxic looking kind of color. The best way I can describe it. Obviously the core detail on the gun is like that black. And I'm going to say like the greenish. People have put flip side stickers in this one we're looking at. But it's a nice pickup for it. And much like the Famous. Like I said, going for a better wear on the Cerberus. There's not really any other yellow girls you can look at. And then we have our last two skins. The first one we're going to showcase is going to be the MAC-10 Stalker again. This is Battle Scarred, just under $10. Very much a brightness skin for the actual where the design is, but you can see on the railings of the MAC-10 where the wear is. The only real upgrade here for yellow MAC-10s is to get better versions of this, so upgrading to like uh, well-worn, field tests, minimal wear, and so on. But the Battle Scarred ticks the box nicely for us. And then much like the M4A4 Buzzkill, our Tech 9 is going to be in that between the yellow and the orange. And every time I pick an inspect link for this Tech 9, it always has one of these Fnatic stickers on it. So this one just evidently isn't selling. But it's a super clean one. Obviously, the AK-47 Fuel Injector is worth an absolute ton of money. So being able to pick up a nice clean Tech 9 for a couple of dollars is sweet. And that's going to be the 13 skins. This is technically less than what we showed in the 
$50 budget, but the $50 budget where you're squeezing in also super cheap, not overly yellowish, or like just, they weren't like the main guns you would use. I don't think we had a gill in there, that kind of thing. So this time I decided to go for like the main guns we use, or, or you would use, so we're thinking like the, the main pistols, then the main rifles, main SMGs, that kind of thing. And that's got us 13 skins of totals for $102.69. So a little bit over, but within the 5% margin we set. And that's going to be me for today's video, guys. As I mentioned, there was a Paris Major video that we posted yesterday for the pickems, and then today for the sticker craft. So be sure to check those out. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button here around here. Let me know which theme you're looking forward to seeing most when it comes to the $250 uh, budgets, because that's what we'll be starting next week. We'll catch you in tomorrow's video, guys. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.